That belongs to one of our generals. This one really has been restored. It's still not finished on the right hand side. Now if you all look up to the top, you will see on the trees the pointed upper parts of a chapel. If you look to the left hand side, see the points? Yeah, there's a oh, yeah. little church uh, Middle Ages. What, what, what? Yeah, well, in the olden days, before the monastery of Geronimus was built, the navigators used to have to go and do their prayers over there, up there. And Geronimus was built afterwards. And here you are, ladies and gentlemen, in front of you, the Tower of Belay. That is the top. It looks small from here, but once you're on here down there, and if you go inside and you walk up, it's quite a long walk. But I don't uh, advise it, ladies and gentlemen. You won't have that much time. Besides, inside you'd have to pay three euros to go in. There are no furniture, there's no nothing really to see inside. The only thing that's interesting as well is that in the third floor, there is an acoustic room. And, uh, well, there's a statue here that's uh, for the lost soldiers, uh, the ones that never found their way back. And as we go down, we're going to pass by a square which is called Place de Schutara. Oké, okay, nou gaan we even kijken dan. Dan bedankt, door. Applicado. Wat een En als je naar de rechterkant kijkt, dan zul je de lift van de eigen kant zien. En dan zul je mensen die de hoge kant naar de hoge kant gaan. Zie je? Ja. 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 Now, ladies and gentlemen, on this following street, if you look to the left-hand side, you will see that's the road to the cathedral, the Lisbon Cathedral is to the left-hand side. You probably see better the towers from this street. So look to the left, links. See the towers of the cathedral. That is the oldest church of Lisbon. Yes. That is the architecture Roman style. And we are now in the Torreiro do Passo, Praça do Comercio, or as the English used to call it, the Black Horse Square. I never understood why the English call it the Black Horse Square, because King Joseph I always rode a white horse and not the black one. Now if you walk across the river, the mountains that you are seeing, may I be so kind and kind of And if you look to the left hand side, you will see my ancestor, King Joseph I. <laughs> and uh, the Ark of Triumph right behind it. Uh, so here, so the big oil tankers can cross underneath. And there's also another high point on the other side, 
not as high as this one, but also for other normal ships to be able to go underneath. And you can see we will be curving to the right to get from one of the narrow parts of the river because if it went on a straight line it would have to be much longer there so it would have cost a lot more money